I love running. I love running long distance and just thinking to myself. When I, when I was small, I used to be in the track team from Nogales and um, no, the Rogers obviously kids were way faster than me. That wasn't the sport for me. And I did all kinds of sports when I was, when I was a kid, but yeah, one of my favorite ones is running. That's very easy for me. Go run, all right, let's do it. This is one of the runs that we like the most because our view and, you know, just uh, long distance, you know. Sometimes when I also run, I um, not only just exercise and do it for my job, but it's also my time of clearance, you know, I, I, I get my mind clear, start thinking more of how the fight's gonna go. Um, a lot of boxers say that you shouldn't think about the defeat, and you know, I never think about losing. That's always in my mind. The guy that's in my fight is probably training harder than me. That's what makes me training harder, run faster, or when I'm feeling a little bit fatigued, that always pushes me, that um, same fear of, of losing. Oh, yeah, I was tired, but that's how you know you're in shape when you stop, and it all depends on how fast you recover. So I know I know I'm in shape right now for, for the fight. So we still got still got some time for the fight. Still keep on training hard. The, the week of fights when it gets boring is because that's Manny doesn't let me do nothing but just shadow box, a little bit of mitt work, and run for 30 minutes, and that's it. So it's the week of fights it gets very boring. And the fight night, that's the fun stuff. Now what? <sighs> Go eat. <laughs> Go eat, sleep, relax. It's gonna be a long day. Usually every athlete eats before they go to train, but not me. I'll just drink a coffee and, and go out to go to go to train. But um, after I work out, I get to eat. But I just make, make my, own, my own shake and um, that's it. Relax for a little bit and uh, then during the day, uh, you know, my uh, my trainer's mom uh, cooks me, you know, makes me a meal prep and that's what I eat, so it's, it's not really, it's very small portions, but um, it's just good enough, you know. We have to live with a lifestyle of always being in a diet, so it's, you get used to it. You know, that's life, retire, which hopefully that never comes, that day never comes. Uh, I won't care about my figure, or whatever I eat. I'm gonna just pig out, eat whatever, tacos, pizza, I'll eat everything. I wanted him to be a baseball player, not a, uh, not a, a, a professional fighter. Or I was too good for that. You know, he wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> I was too good for baseball, so it was too easy. So but, that's all. Uh, I'm gonna make something harder. I was boxing. My daughter's always like, "Hey, how come you're always with him? You know, just how, he's he's grown up. He's, um, he's uh, now he's a professional fighter. He has a, he has his team and everything. How come you have to be over there? How come you're not staying with us?" But it's hard for them to understand. But you know, you gotta make sacrifices in, in life. So sometimes he doesn't want to be here. That time, you, you gotta be here because you know, it's, it's, we're a team. And if I'm gonna die, he's also gonna die. You know, we're, so it's blah blah. So it's you know, it's, we're all we're all in it. And it's you know, it makes me feel like I'm being supported. And you know, support of a, of a team. Just bananas, uh, strawberries, berries, and uh, almonds, and honey. You know, that's where I get my sugar, so. I always gotta put honey, honey in everything, natural honey, so, yeah. <laughs> so this is what I eat every morning. And then, and then from later, from there, it goes on. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Good? Back for another rat. All right, get that snake fed. Kyle's getting hungry now. <laughs> you got it. Getting skinny. Is it me and my cousin come here um, once a week? Hey, at least once a week. Once you know, a if week. we're trying to beef him up, we'll come twice a week, like every you know five days. To do what? To grab a rat so we can uh, feed feed Kyle the snake, the anaconda. 
every time it's the same thing. Uh, come get a rat, but at the same time, just give a little cruise to see all these guys doing. <laughs> so that's China. Just both legs. There you go. That's just a big water dragon. <laughs> better not whip me. She's a gorgeous. She's a beauty. <laughs> like a reptile? Kind of, uh, well, kind of, but it's not like a snake. It will feel more like my alligator type one. Let's see. This is a visual pied. OK. This is her sister, which is a okay. het, not visual. That's pretty really cool. different, huh? I've actually seen one of these have like a ha <laughs> happy face right here. Dun, dun. That would be any reptile. Uh, just because, not because I'm a snake, but more than because I like the snake, I would be a, a rattlesnake because they're extremely dangerous and no one messes with them and they look pretty mean, so. <laughs> Chinese food. Yeah. There you go, dude. All, all right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I got this, got this through a, through a friend. Um, he knows I know. He knows I like reptiles. So one day he showed me through Instagram and he said, "Hey, do you want an anaconda?" I was like, "What do you mean? Do I want? A, of course I want an anaconda." He, he booked it and that's how it all started from this. And so I've actually been here with him for almost six months. And um, you know, everybody's like, "What's his name? What's his name?" I want to think something creative, not creative, but you know, something that kind of fits him. And when I was a kid. I would watch a lot of the Disney movies, and there's one, The Jungle Book, where, where a big snake comes out, is, and his name is Ka. So I, that's why every time I post it on social media, like on, on my stories, I put Ka, that's his name. So it's just very cool. You know, I don't really do much in training camps. Just come here, relax, grab, grab my snake for a little bit, feed him every now and then, and that's it. And back home, I got my alligator, Steve. And I got two horses, my, my dogs, pit bull and a bulldog. And you know, your, your managers, your trainers, they don't freak out that you're over here holding snakes around your head. On yeah, your every head. time I see uh, Frank or, or Bob Arum, you know, even Bob tells me, you know, be careful with that alligator. I don't want you to see you playing with it. <laughs> and I, I try to tell him, you know, because it's not as bad as it looks on TV or on cameras. It's, if you guys would be, would be close to it, I'm almost positive you guys will be able to touch it or maybe even grab it. You know, Frank told me he would never grab it, and so did Manny, my trainer. And they went and visited me over there back home in Hermosillo, and they grabbed him. They grabbed him. They grabbed him. They rattled my horses, and, you know, they had a good time. So it's not as bad as it looks. Everybody feeds off of everybody, but Oscar Valdez is just one of those, you know, those guys that you don't really have to do much to push him. He pushes himself. Sometimes we have to hold him back. And uh, I mean, it's, it's great fun. Uh, like, you know, a lot of trainers say, this is our best training camp. There is no, you know, best training camp with Oscar Valdez because it only gets better and better because he works so hard all the time. Little kids look up to you and they want to do, they want to throw a certain hook that I throw and they want to, they ask me questions, on how do I throw the, to the body and what else. They ask for, like, give them instructions and you know, it's, it feels great to, to have that certain leadership and to have kids look up to you. When I was going, growing up, you know, I look up to Eric Morales and I was wanting to do what, what he, what he did accomplish. Not that I'm saying I've done anything near Eric Morales, but I like hearing kids say that I'm their, their idol and they want to do certain things that I do. So uh, that's a great motivation for me. It's serious when we come into the gym, but I, I also feel like we have to have fun while, while we're you know, working out. You know, all of our guys is work tremendously hard, but uh, make it fun. I mean, you know, I'm the jokester of the, of the team and uh, I like to have fun with all my guys. Let's get this party started, baby. Let's go. They're in training camp for three, four months. I mean, Oscar is one of those guys that that likes to be here early and uh, start early and, uh, you know, just to be serious every day, I mean, it, it would be miserable for him. So make it fun. I mean, obviously, never stop working hard and, and doing what we have to do, but make it fun for him. Sit down. Mm. 
Voy a cambiar. Okay. Vámonos. Every day I ask him, hey, how you feel, you know, you tired, he's like, no, I could keep going, I could keep going. I mean, sometimes, like I said, we have to hold him back, that way, you know, he don't overtrain or whatever the case may be, but he, he's a go-getter, you know? Well, I'm almost sure nobody has it easy in their life. Everybody has something rough in their life that, that pushes them. Where I'm from, Nogales, Sonora, it's, it's not easy, you know? Any spot is gonna be hard for you to come out and be successful, but, Having the, the correct people around you, I think, is what pushed me to not get involved in to no gangs. So, you know, like I said, my family is the one who, you know, had me in the right way, the right path was uh, to sports, and that's when we got to boxing. But um, made it out from Morales, you know, it, mean, it means a lot to me.